16 years old and this is the story of my life. What's up guys, it's DJ Daddy. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be drawing my life. So in 2016, I actually used to like upload videos just for my friends through iMessages and it was like a great moment in time, but I did a draw my life, but I never actually uploaded it or like showed it to my friends. Now I am uploading it to YouTube. So I'm gonna show you guys that and then I'm gonna continue my draw my life up till today. All right, let's get into this. Today I'm going to do, as you can see, the draw my life. So I know these videos were popular like two or three years ago. No, what, like eight years ago these were popular? Well, <laughs> here we are. But I want to do it anyway. So let's start. I was born in Maryland. That was an aggressive swallow. Like, I have no idea what the heck that was. In Bethesda, Maryland, to be Pacific. And I was born at a hospital that happened to be the president's. That was where the president went if he was sick or um, he wanted to get checked up. So, my mom had me at exactly 3.33 in the morning. The fact that I didn't erase the board all the way is annoying me a lot. So it's probably annoying all of you too. I apologize. And so then I was born. And after about three months of living in Maryland at this really small house. We have never lived in Maryland. We lived in Virginia. I was 11 like when I was doing this so like I should have known but <laughs> We moved to Germany, and Germany was where Sam was born. And Sam was born at a hospital that was, even though it was in Germany, it was American. So he's American. He was born at 7.15 in the morning. And I got to stay with my grandma. Now, why did I decide to erase that little part of the building? Like, it just makes it worse. At home, and he came back, and I had always wanted a doll, so I was loving it. And I checked his heart and everything, and uh, I loved him. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Sam. After a few years there, we moved down to Italy. And Italy was uh, awesome. I don't remember much, but I do remember the great, I mean great, pizza. And pizza was like the best ever at Giada's. Okay, now that is nowhere close to how you actually spell Giada's. We've been back there since though, and still good food. And Giada's was like, we used to go there like, a lot and it's just the best pizza like ever so go there i really really recommend it so after leaving the pizza land we went to pennsylvania and i met two especially good friends that i'm still in touch with today that are ben and nora so ben and nora were with me in kindergarten. Ben was my age and Nora was uh, Sam's age, so that was awesome. My dad said that he was going to get deployed and he was going to go to Afghanistan. And at the time I was in first grade with Miss Geiger. And I didn't really like that year. All I ever did at recess was sit on the swings and count down the days until school was over. It wasn't as depressing as it sounds, guys. Please don't worry. It, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Finally, Dad came back and we moved to Germany. Back to Germany. And... 
we lived at this house on Hoonstrasse, and close to it was the base, which was cool, and there was this playground with tubes that went, like, everywhere, tubes and slides, and we used to go there, like, almost every day after school, and that was really fun, and then we got the news that the school was going to be demolished and taken down, so we had to move to Texas. Uh, before I met some friends, I was taken to this school that was called Oak Grove. And Oak Grove wasn't the best school. It was a public school, but all my public schools before have been great, so my parents just took me there. Now, why did I draw the school the exact same way as I've drawn every single hospital? And... I didn't learn much, and my brother got bullied a lot and punched in the restrooms. So, we decided, for the first time ever, to take me to a private school. And so, we looked around, and we found St. Pius the Tenth. That's also not how you spell Pius. Yep, I went there for two years, still didn't know how to spell it, apparently. And... This is where I met three especially good friends, Emma, Natalie, and Becca. And they were really, really awesome. After that, I, I had to move, and I had to move to Pennsylvania, back to Pennsylvania. So we went up back to the north to Pennsylvania, and this is where I'm living right now. Might I add that we road tripped all the way from Texas to Pennsylvania. My dad actually road tripped up the that same route twice. So yeah, it was, it was a nice summer. That's what we did the entire summer. And that was really, it was kind of hard to leave there, but um, I met some new friends like Caroline and Selena. This part just cracks me up so hardcore because I don't remember Selena. I'm sure she was really nice. But I would hang out with like my neighbors and Ben and Nora, like I said, but I didn't really have any friends that actually went to my school. And I really wanted to be like a popular kid, but I, I never really got there. And I think that I was just kind of sad that I never was popular. But guys, you don't need to be popular to be cool. Just be yourself. And they're good, but they aren't my best friends yet. Um, they could become them, though. And we came back in touch with Ben and Nora. And they didn't go to our school. They go to a public school, but that's all right. Uh, they don't go to St. Pat's. So, uh, St. Pat's right now, I have a teacher whose name is Miss Kugai. Seems as though this has turned into a right, my life. Well, I guess it's okay because my drawings were equally bad. And she is the best teacher that I've had. What? I didn't know that. In my whole life. And she's really, really awesome. And she's really getting me ready for seventh grade, which I... <sighs> Well, I kind of want it to happen soon, but then again, I don't. This is the Draw My Life Continued. I left off in 6th grade, and I was expecting to go to 7th grade at St. Pat's, but we ended up unexpectedly moving to Colorado. And we got the phone call when we were in England, and my mom just picked up the phone and just was expecting my dad to just, you know, be calling, you know, just to say hi, but... He offered a job in Colorado. Now, I thought Colorado was just like a bunch of mountains, like all over the place, and snow. And although I didn't really want to move, I said yes. We decided to road trip all the way there. And it was honestly sad leaving there because we'd only been in Pennsylvania for a year. So, funny story. We were road tripping up 
to Colorado from Pennsylvania, just like we did from Texas to Pennsylvania. And my mom got pulled over by a police car. She was speeding because it was like the end of the day. And, you know, we just wanted to get to our next location. But she got pulled over and obviously Bella, our cat, was in our car. So the police officer just kind of stared at our cat like, hey, and our cat was just like, sup, you know? It is a crazy, crazy story, but my, the police officer ended up giving my mom just a warning because he couldn't be bothered to really, like, go through her documents since they were from all different states and everything. Since we're in the military, that kind of happens a lot. Made it to Colorado, and we found this amazing house. Now, it was just, like, really big, and we just, like, we loved it. So we decided to move into this really nice house. And it had, you know, a great view and everything. Huge windows, which were, you know, just like right out onto the street. It was crazy, but it was a really nice house. And this is actually where I started doing YouTube. So I started doing YouTube here and I would go to a park super close to our house which had like slides and everything and that was like where I hung out if I wasn't like in the woods. I think I have a video of like when we were in the woods. <laughs> it was called like being rebels in the woods or something but those were where I hung out. Our house also had an amazing deck area and it had a great, great view of just the entire valley. You would see like a bunch of lights and like the sunrise there was absolutely amazing if you were looking out onto it from the deck. I went through seventh and eighth grade at Cheyenne Mountain Junior High and that soon went by. I didn't really, you know, make any friends or anything until ninth grade. And in ninth grade I met Michaela, Justine, and Addie and they have been in a couple of my videos before. Uh, so you should totally go check those out. But they're super super cool people. I am still in touch with them today. And then once again, unexpectedly, we had to move to Italy. So, all I remember about Italy, like I said, when I was in sixth grade, was the pizza. And so, I was like, you know, I really don't want to move, but I wasn't as opposed to it as my mom, who was like, no. Like, full on, no. But we ended up moving there anyways because we had no other option. My dad needed to get a job. So we moved to Italy. And I spent the first couple of months in a hotel room which just had like one bed and I slept on the floor. During this time I was also playing tennis. Now in the past I had only been on the C team tennis but here they really only have a varsity team so I was able to make it onto varsity but we went on lots of trips and everything and so I was so glad that I could be playing tennis because before we knew it the year went by in a rush I did play some basketball at some point that looks like a tennis ball my bad but it was basketball I did play some basketball just for fun at CYS but you know before we knew it COVID hit and with COVID we started doing online school so I'm super grateful that I had like a computer and everything so that I could you know do online school and I did really well with online school I didn't mind it at all I know some people who hated it but I didn't mind online school and it gave us time for me to like film more videos for YouTube I've got lots of COVID videos so go check them out in the i button up there I'm gonna give you a quick update now as to where I am today so I'm getting ready to be a junior which is an 11th grader I'm taking lots of AP classes next year so I think it's gonna be a very very hard year for me tennis this is still going to be a sport this year, but it's only going to be singles. So I'm not actually sure if I'm going to make the team, but I'm going to really try to make the team because, I don't know, I really enjoy playing tennis, so 
I'm really hoping to make the team again. Also right now I'm studying for the SATs because that's coming up this year so I'm doing some epic studying for that. But school is right around the corner. August 24th is when we're going back to school. I am really not overjoyed about going back to school because it has been so long since we have been back in school. We don't actually know yet if I am going to be graduating here. I would also like to go back to Colorado maybe just because, um, you know, if I could graduate there, I could graduate with lots of my friends. So it's, it's either one of these, Colorado or Vicenza. We'll see what happens, but that's what's going on right now. I hope you enjoyed the draw my life. And... I uh, will see you later. I hope you enjoyed the draw of my life. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I do try to upload a new video every single weekend, and I really hope that you enjoyed this draw my life video. There's a lot more life to come, hopefully. But I'll see you guys next week with another video. Woo!